Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Harley Russell. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything there is to know about being a travel nurse. I recently just accepted my first position as a travel nurse up in Southern Maine. I love it here. I'm having so much fun. I love the hospital that I'm working at. I love the people I work with. And altogether, I have nothing bad to say about being a travel nurse yet. Now, with that being said, I've had so many people message me, both potential nursing students, current nursing students, um, currently working nurses, retired nurses. I've had so many people connected to nursing message me and call me and everything else about travel nursing. They have so many questions. They've always heard about so-and-so that went travel nursing or this girl that went here or that guy that went there, but they never had the true facts of it. So in today's video, that is what I'm here to give you. I'm gonna be talking about what a travel nurse is, what a travel nurse does, how to become a travel nurse, and my best tips for you. Now, let's get started. You may be wondering, what even is a travel nurse? A travel nurse is a registered nurse that takes an assignment at another location within their specialty. So in my case, I have 14 months of experience in the emergency department. So I'm now on a 13 week assignment at an ER up in Southern Maine. So to start off, I'm just gonna kinda talk about my journey to becoming a travel nurse. So first of all, schooling. Being a nurse is a job that you have to have a degree in. So I went to a local community college in my hometown. Now it took me three years. I did one year of prerequisites and then a two year nursing program. And I did a RN program. I can't talk for traveling CNAs or traveling uh, LPNs or anything like that just because I'm not familiar with it. So in this video, you know, just for the purposes of whatever clarity, I'm gonna be talking about a traveling RN. I have an associate's degree in nursing. It's like an applied science degree or something like that. Anyway, I'm a state licensed registered nurse. After school, I took the NCLEX. I know there's other like certification or boards or something that I've heard of, but the NCLEX is like the end all be all to being a nurse. You need to take the NCLEX, okay? It is the best accreditation that you can get. Next, my first job. My first job was at a level two trauma center in my local hometown. I loved it there. Now, don't get me wrong. I had some very, very, very stressful days. I cried in the bathroom. I cried to my family. I cried to my friends. I cried in front of doctors. I cried in front of other nurses. Like I had some rough days, but that is okay. That is going to happen whether you work on the floor in the emergency department in the ICU in labor and delivery in a clinic. That's going to happen. That's just a given like with nursing it is a stressful career you have a lot on you literally have lives in your hands so it's okay and i say that just as a reassurance to those out there watching this that might be new nurses that are thinking oh i can't do this i cannot make it another day at this job i'm not smart enough i'm not good enough i'm not made to be a nurse get it out of your head you've got this okay so at this um, hospital that I worked at, I learned so much. It was a really large ER and I got to see every kind of patient, every kind of age, every kind of sickness, every kind of complaint, every everything. With me working at a level two trauma center, that got me ready to work at any ER in America. Now, granted, if I go to a level one trauma center, I might struggle a little bit just because it's a different world, but anyway. Now, this is just speaking from my experience. I graduated nursing school and started right off the bat at a level two trauma center. Some people don't wanna do that. Some people wanna go to the floor first. Some people wanna go to a clinic first. Some people wanna go to a smaller ER first. And that is fine. As long as you're getting consistent full-time experience. Note, I said full-time. You have to be a full-time nurse to get that you know, full working experience, whatever. That is just a requirement for a lot of travel companies. So just to recap, get us caught up. I went to nursing school that took me three years, got my first job at a level two trauma center. I worked there for 14 months. Yes, 14 months. Now you'll always hear people say, oh, two years, two years, two years, two years is the golden mark. Two years is the requirement. Two years, you have to have two years. No, you don't have to have two years. Now you do hands down have to have one year 12 full months completed before you can start applying for travel nurse jobs 
Now, some people will try to argue that and say that it's not necessary or that they're ready to go, blah, 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 blah. No, you need a full year. And some people feel like they need a full two years. Some people want to be a nurse for five years before they travel nurse. That's okay. I'm just telling you the absolute bare minimum requirement is 12 full months. 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> like I said, I had 13 months of experience when I started applying, started getting my paperwork in. And that brings me to my next point working with a travel company. I was talking with three companies. Now I'm from Mississippi. So one company that I was working with primarily had travel assignments in the Southern US, Louisiana, areas like that. So in my head, I said, if I'm gonna travel nurse, I wanna go full out. I wanna go, I wanna go as far as I can go. I wanna get the full experience, blah, 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 blah. So I kinda put that company on the back burner. They were a great company. They were super attentive answered all my questions, super great. But like I said, I just wanted to go further off. So I went on to my other two recruiters. And this is where the recruiter aspect comes in. Your recruiter is so important. They are such a vital part of your travel nursing journey. You are gonna be constantly texting them, constantly calling them. They're gonna feel more like a friend than like a coworker, I guess, because they are literally orchestrating you moving in my case, across the entire country, you're putting all your trust in them. You are counting on them to make sure you have all your papers turned in. You have everything you need so that you don't get to your hospital and they're like, oh, we can't take you. So your recruiter is very, very, very important. And that aspect is how I finally chose my final one company. Now, if you're interested in travel nursing, message me, DM me, email me. If you know me personally, text me because I can give you a referral to my recruiter. She is incredible. I absolutely love her. She's helped me through this whole process. She's made it as smooth as can be. And I highly, highly, highly recommend her. And I actually have two more nurses that just took assignments through her from my referral. So message me and I can get you on our team. Another thing that is super, super important for travel nursing is certifications. Your certifications are so important. That is what certifies you to give care to people. The biggest ones that are requirements in almost every ER in America are TNCC, which is just a trauma nurse certification, ACLS, BLS, and PALS, and also the NIH stroke scale. So just be sure to have all those certifications. Now, some of my biggest tips for being a travel nurse. Number one, learn, learn, learn. You can never stop learning. There's always new medicine coming out, new techniques, new procedures, blah, blah, blah. But be sure to have the basics down pat. I can't tell you this enough. It is so important to be knowledgeable in patient care, in drug administration, in procedures, in techniques, in everything. It is so, so, so important because you are literally picking up and just taking your little self and your skills that you have in here and in your hands and going to another hospital and they expect you to just pick up right where you left off and take a full-time position. So it is so important to know your stuff. Number two, be ready for the fast track orientation. Whenever you show up to another hospital as a travel nurse, they expect you to know majority of the things that you need to know, understandably. So your orientation is gonna be two days usually of just following another nurse and just basically figuring out where supplies is. Now, don't get me wrong, you should always ask questions if you're unsure, but you should know the basics forwards and backwards if you're gonna become a travel nurse. Tip number three, be adaptive. You're going into an environment that yes, you know about, you're comfortable in, but you don't know the specific details. Where do they keep their IV supplies? Where do they keep their normal saline? What uh, is their policies and procedures on X, Y, and Z? You know, you have to adapt. You have to quickly learn the ways of this hospital. Tip number four, be respectful. You are on other people's turf and you are coming in for a short little span. Those people are here all the time. Some of the nurses at my hospital, they've been here 25 and 30 years. I'm not coming in like I know everything. I come in respectful, I come in and I immediately try to make friends, I immediately start asking questions, and I immediately let them know that I need help. I don't know everything. I don't know the basics of this hospital. I don't know all the policies and procedures. So just be sure to be respectful. You don't know everything about everywhere. Healthcare is always evolving, always changing, and every hospital is different. So just be sure to be respectful wherever you go. Tip number five. I talked about this earlier, but work with different companies. Like I said, your recruiter is gonna be your most vital aspect in your travel nursing journey. So you need to work with many companies or at least a few to just figure out who you work well with. 
I hope I covered at least some of the bases about being a travel nurse, and I hope I answered some of your questions. Now, if I left any stone unturned, please feel free to message me. Please, please, please. I'm open to questions, and I want to let other people do this. I want other people to experience this. It is so much fun. I get paid to travel. Travel is my favorite thing to do, and now I get to do it as much as I want. Every three months, I move somewhere different. So, I want you to do this too. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Bye, guys.